be honest, when you heard this news, did you first think about me? Did you think about me when you heard this news? <laughs> Not too long on the intro to this, this video. You know what to do. Hit that like button. You know our subscriber goal. You know what to do. If you ain't doing it, I might give you that CM Punk Jack Perry treatment, man. Do your thing. Now, AEW apparently is releasing the Jack Perry and CM Punk fight video. And I don't know how to feel about it, bro. I genuinely don't know how to feel about it. Because as somebody who loves chaos, as somebody who just loves the nonsense, I'm going to be honest with you, and release it. You should have released it a long time ago. But as a CM Punk fan, I just don't see how this can be positive. I, as an AEW fan, as a wrestling fan, I just don't see how this could be positive for anybody. And uh, speaking from the CM Punk aspect of things, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. They would not be releasing the footage if... This looked good. If it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, would they really release the footage if CM Punk was telling the truth? I, I'm gonna be honest. And that was my first, like, thoughts. Like, there is no way they would release the footage if what CM Punk is saying is true. Now, to combat that, I see CM Punk on this uh, kickoff show. He either got a great poker face or he is not bothered at all because he is not folding. He ain't flinching. He ain't breaking. He ain't, you know what I'm saying? He ain't bending over. Like, yeah, but. This dude is, it ain't bothering him at all. Now, uh, I'm sure he's seen the footage before. Uh, who knows? Who knows? But as it's already been like uh, the whole T uh, Tony Khan in danger for his life thing, that's already been debunked. Like Brian Alvarez, people who have seen the footage, Dave Meltzer even has confirmed that there is nothing in that the footage that would show Tony Khan's life being in danger. But uh, there is some um, things that I guess would make CM Punk look bad, as in like a bad takedown or he applied a chokehold bad. So uh, Jack Perry was able to escape it easily. So it, it may. But uh, it's funny, though, because out of all the stories we've heard in the last what, how long has it been? Uh, September three plus four out of the last seven months. This all we've heard is Jack Perry got his ass whooped. Jack Perry got punched in the face. Jack Perry got choked out. Whatever, whatever. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden that is uh, CM Punk got exposed in there or whatever. I, I don't know. I, the more and more I think about it, you know, I, I do think like the more and more I think about it is it, just I'm not really worried as a CM as like because I always tell y'all more than a, a fan of the wrestler, I'm a fan of Phil Brooks. I'm a fan of CM Punk. I'm a fan of him, the person. And even though I don't really know him like that, he's somebody who tells you the truth for better or for worse about himself so much that I feel like I know the man. And there is the toxic parasocial relationship that I have with the person because he's somebody who's a hero of mine. I put him up there with the, the Kobe Bryants. I put him up there with the John Cena's, the, the, the Rocks, the Stone Colds, just of my personal heroes. And I would hate for something to come out to make him look like a liar because that is that is the one thing I feel like with CM Punk that just that you could always say. Like I said with Tony Khan, you could say a lot of things about Tony Khan, but you can't call him a liar until he got proven that he was lying. Um, CM Punk, you could say a lot about CM Punk. You could say he talks too much. You could say he has an ego. You could say whatever, but he's not a liar. And at first, when they, they said this, I was worried. I was worried. Like, is he a liar? Is he... Like, because there's no way they would just expose themselves like that. But it is the Young Bucks. It is AEW. They put themselves out there to look stupid weekly, if not daily. They make themselves look like jerks and assholes and douchebags weekly. So, again, no matter what, uh, I, I, like, somebody said it perfectly. This doesn't help anybody. This Because no matter how you felt about CM Punk going in, you're going to feel the same way about him going, leaving. The, no matter how you felt about the Young Bucks and AEW going in, you're going to feel the same exact way going out. However you felt about Jack Perry going in, you will feel the same exact way going out. Jack Perry shouldn't have did what he did. You can make the argument that CM Punk shouldn't have did what he did. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I I, I am kind of nervous to see it. A part, a small part of me is still kind of nervous to see it because you just hate to see the ugly side of people, especially people you love, people you uh you you look up to. You hate to see the ugly side of it. And no matter how you feel about CM Punk, like it, it's that's a ugly. That's ugly. You don't want to see that. You know what I'm saying? Like preferably you get your scrap in, you get your one on one in, you fight and you you leave by, you let bygones be bygones. But now they decided to um to to release this footage and I'll tell y'all again, being fair, 
this is a beautiful chess move because whether we want to admit it or not, nobody's really talking about uh, what happened last night, at least on the internet community. At least in the internet community, people outside of the bubble, outside of the IWC, they don't even know about that shit. They don't give a fuck about it. Uh, it won't matter to them. They've the, the the casual fan already seen CM Punk get his ass whooped in the UFC. The casual fan already seen the worst of CM Punk. So they don't give a fuck. But the IWC, the IWC, they don't <laughs> they they don't care about this. I mean, the IWC cares too much. And I, I, I'm a part of that now. I didn't, uh, like, to get you hip, I didn't know who the fuck Dave Meltzer was last year. I didn't know who the fuck uh, Sean Ross Sapp, so even some of my peers, I like to call them my peers now. I didn't know who Solid Master was last year. I didn't know who Suplex was last year. But getting into this IWC, I now know. But this was a, a chess move. This was a chess move because nobody's talking about, that in the IWC-wise, which is already their fan base anyway, so how much is it really a chess move? They're going to pop a ready for this. People are going to tune in to see CM Punk. Uh, any semblance of CM Punk they can get, people are going to tune in for it. This video is going to do crazy numbers because people love CM Punk. His name, when you hear his name, you tune in because he's a very interesting person. So uh, it's... Come on now, like it's, it's CM Punk. It's their biggest star. It's the biggest star they've ever had. Bigger than Edge. Bigger than Christian. Bigger than MJF. No matter who, it's CM Punk. So you even tease anything about CM Punk, people go tune in. You can show a video package of just a, a picture with him, and people are gonna tune in and look back and see it. They get the most views. Like let's be honest. So are you excited to see it? How, what do you think they get it out? Of? I think this helps nobody. I think if anything, it turns more viewers off. I think that's best case scenario. Again. I think best case scenario, people don't look at you funny. Best case scenario, uh, CM Punk looks like a crazy person and, you know, whatever. I don't know. But you're not going to gain fans from this. This isn't going to help you in the long run. It's like an AEW debut. You're going to get a, a big rating for that night. But two weeks later, nobody's going to care. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Need 200 likes on this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Need uh, about, what, 300 more subs? Hit that subscribe button for your boy. Have a beautiful night. Sub to act. Peace.